Decepticon! Anyway. <laughs> What's up, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube? Through the Dark One back with another toy review. This time, despite its very Batmobile-esque appearance, this is not a Batman toy review. This is the Transformers Prime uh, Deluxe Class uh, Viacon, or the generic Decepticon. I uh, finally found this guy's stores. My local stores are horrendously behind on what they should and shouldn't have. But I found this guy the other day and grabbed him. Um, now, unfortunately, uh, this is in where they repackaged them and they came with a DVD of like one episode. So yay for it being three dollars more for no absolutely reason, especially considering I didn't need it. But whatever, I picked them up. Uh, versus <laughs> nice little car mode. I've, I've really much like Soundwave. Like none of the Transformers Prime toys are bad in my opinion, um, but Soundwave and this guy so far that I own stand out to me as. I really, really just like the engineering on them, like how they transform, how they manage to fit everything. You can see there the Decepticon symbol in the front, as I tried to do in the beginning of the video. Um, so that's pretty good little detail for as small as it is. Vehicle mode, next to a 12-ounce can of Coke. So he's roughly, I'll show him again when I get him transformed. Um, I meant to grab another one for size comparison. I will let you know in advance, and I'll probably repeat myself once I get him transformed. But he is right on par. He as he is as tall as Soundwave. But um, for simplistic as it is, it's fairly show accurate. Uh, he does come with his blaster gun. Um, now you're supposed to be able. There's I don't know if the camera will pick it up or not, but like right behind the light, you kind of see it in the molding. There's like little indentations. And you should be able to like clip it on there, and it would be kind of like the show where it folds out instead of like, uh, much like in his um, robot mode. Mine, I don't know if it's a weird mismolding or something. I know I haven't seen any other reviewers have any problems with it. Um, I do have issues clipping this thing on mine, um, so just heads up on that. So, but basically, it clips here or here, and he does have peg holes, so you could peg it in on either side. There you go. But anyway, and I gotta admit, I really do like the car mode on this guy, mostly because it is very Batman-esque. Um, but it is show accurate, and I just kind of like it. Um, kind of like the Men in Black car or something, you know. It does have some neat little details on the rims there, so kind of cool. Uh, but anyway, on to transformation. And like I said, I love the way this guy is engineered. It could have been basically just a simple shell former. Um, which it, for the most part, is, and by that, if you don't know, just everything would be concealed up, and you just pop panels, and there it would be. Um, his legs, I just, I, I love the way they did his legs. Uh, it's so interesting that they engineered it that way. Uh, but anyway, what you can do is, you just kind of wiggle the back tire here loose, and that's his arm. Just kind of bring it up and out of the way a little bit. Er, come on. He has a very peculiar arm transformation, but I'll get to that. Now, for his legs, what you want to do is you want to take from the back here and fold it all the way down. Okay? You can go ahead and separate everything. Just click together in multiple, multiple places. And it can be a little bit fidgety to undo because of this. As I am now having trouble doing <laughs> Um does come apart. There we go. I just don't want to like break any tabs or anything. Okay, so <laughs> this right here is the front of his foot. That's the front of his leg. But that's actually the last step. What you do is you just literally just start with the back fin, collapse it, collapse it, collapse it, then bring it down, push everything together until it holds. And that's his foot. And I know that's kind of simple, stupid, but I just think that's really cool. So he didn't have to compromise anything in vehicle mode with panels or anything. You know, it was a pretty sleek vehicle mode, as you saw. Once again, you just collapse everything upon itself. I don't know. I just think that's a really neat design choice, like how they did that transformation. I mean, like I said, it's kind of simple, stupid. And then you just fold the front down, fold the front of the foot out. Um, now the instructions show this rotating more, I think. 
Um, I was trying to look at the back of the package and see if it goes down more. Uh, I don't know if it can or not. That's about as far as it goes, and the wheel catches this little piece of molding right here. Um, it doesn't come out or in or anything like that, but it is a little bit of a rotation. Kind of align his lights or his car mode lights kind of with his upper leg. Um, there you have his legs. Bloop. And now on to the top half. We're going to get the head. His head is a revealer gimmick where you just push the back of the car back and it pops his head. Nice little detailed little head there. Very, uh, I mean, it's very screen accurate, but uh, I love how they kind of resemble the old uh, Battle Android Troopers from G.I. Joe. And he does have some cool detailing on his chest there. It's kind of like a piece of clear plastic. And then right under that, there's uh, the silver with his Decepticon symbol. And you got some black and the dark blue slash purple mixed in there. Now for his arm. <laughs> now, I've never noticed it in the show particularly. Um, I know Soundwave kind of has the crookedy arm joint, like the elbow joint. Um, apparently, this guy does too. So what you want to do, the, like, the instructions are really whacked out, so I'll show you kind of a shortcut. Basically, slide it out like that, and you can see now that that tab is facing up. You kind of, That's where you want that. Rotate it down, or no, rotate it down and around like that. No, no, I'm sorry. Like I said, this thing is wonky as I'll get out. Yeah, there you go. You want that, you want that kind of slot there facing forward, that's correct. Fold it down on its side. Fold it straight out, and then flip his hand out, and that's his arm. <laughs> like, like I said, I don't necessarily recall from the show it being such a wonky joint. Uh, it, it, I mean, it definitely doesn't not look right in robot mode. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of weird to transform like that. And the instructions are like, uh, 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 probably a lot easier than what I just did. But anyway, you can flip his hand out first, even if you want to, or if you were just wanting to have a midget arm, you could do that. <laughs> um, but anyway, like I said, get that little tab facing forward and then just kind of rotate everything around so it's facing forward-ish. And there you go. And like I mentioned before, it does just snap on here. Uh, it has kind of the same camera focus for me. Uh, you can kind of see the indent there right above my finger. Um, like I said, I don't know whether it's just mine. I haven't seen any other reviewers make mention of it. Um, but mine does have issues. I mean, once I get it on there, it's good. Uh, it just doesn't. It seems to me like it, it takes a little bit more effort to get on there than what it does. But what you can do, so it's kind of like show accurate, is you could um, you could flip down his hand since you know in the show all their weapons transform out of them, and then clip this bad boy on. I'll go ahead and give it a shot, and it's not gonna stick. But basically, you get the gist of it. It would be kind of just sitting here and. Looking like it came out of his arm. That was like pretty cool. Um, but yeah, um, overall, aside from the wonky, weird elbows, um, pretty pleasurable. You get the shoulders. The head does rotate. Why is my camera so out of focus all of a sudden? Hopefully it hasn't been that way for long. If it has, I apologize. I just checked. Um, it does have a pretty pleasurable head up, down, left to right fairly well. Uh, no waist articulation. A really good leg. Good bend at the elbow. And no real ankle to speak of, but you know, he stands really well. Like I said, he, you know, he's kind of got that kind of hunchy sort of look to him. Um, I really like this guy. Like, I've been looking for him in stores for a while. Like I said, my stores, my local stores are horrendously. Why is my camera just. Wow. Come on. You're called autofocus, so autofocus on the thing. Come on. Okay, so we'll stay close up. Um, <laughs> well, that's about. That's kind of new. Get that on there. Um, but anyway, yeah, really cool. Um, I'd say about uh, seven inch ish figure. Um, there he is, next to the can of coke. Even though it's blurry, which I apologize. I have no idea why my camera is just deciding to give up on focusing. Um, so I apologize for the blur. Can of coke, and I got him kind of about as stand up straight as you can get him. Um, he does kind of just hunch. Um, comes up to about his shoulders. 
So, yeah, a uh, really cool little figure. Uh, I'm sure anywhere else in the country other than my small podunk little town, these guys have been in stores forever and definitely recommend them. I do know there is a Jet version out there, I believe. Uh, I would like to find that one, too. But, yeah, so, so yeah. Wow, lost my train of thought. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, <laughs> Transformers Prime, Decepticon, uh, Viacon, or the General... Generic Decepticon, because why have that many named characters when you can just have an army of these guys, right? You know they are kind of cool. But, anyway, till next time.